Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk a little bit today about vein finding. Uh, we generally use IV sedation to relax our patients and make it really comfortable, and actually they usually fall asleep so that we do the work, and by the time we're finished, the patient wakes up, and it's been a great experience for them. And sometimes their veins are hard to find, so we have some vein finders. This was a, our first vein finder, or a, 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 an older vein finder, and it kind of works like a flashlight. There's lights that go on, and you press the lights very close to the skin, but the veins have to be close to the surface for this to work. We have another vein finder that's more recent, which is very, very, very costly, and I think we're probably the only office in the state that has this, the only dental office in the state that has this, and this uses deep infrared rays to locate the veins. So this actually penetrates the skin by up to a quarter of an inch, which this does not. So we can virtually always find veins, no matter if they're buried or not, when we use this device. Yes, it's an expensive device, but why put the patients through a lot of worry and discomfort by punching and punching and punching and punching when you don't have to and you can find a vein easily with this very advanced vein finder. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that later. But something I want to mention as an aside. Now, my back sometimes bothers me. So I was just in Portland, Oregon, seeing a great physical therapist out there. And when I left in the waiting room, they have some shoes on display and the shoes looked interesting. So I thought, okay, I'm going to buy a pair of these shoes. Now these shoes are what's called zero lift. So they're sort of flat. And I thought, I'm going to try these. I had my regular shoes on, which were pretty comfortable, and I had to go for a long walk. Well, I was walking and in this long walk, my back was really starting to bother me. So. I put these shoes on and I'm going to show you the shoes right here. This is what they look like. They're called limbs. Now I never heard of limbs. You never heard of limbs. I own no stock in the company, but these are maybe the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. So if your back bothers you and you want to try something different, you might want to try these limbs shoes, L-E-M-S. I bought them when I was at the physical therapist's office. He didn't, it wasn't recommended. I just saw them and they're working great. And that's what I've been using since I got back from Portland. Don't have any worries. We're going to show you more about the vein finders and I think you'll find it very interesting. So we have a couple of different kinds of vein finders. We have an older one, which is right here, which I do not feel is that effective. I mean, really, why don't you turn the light out for a moment? So it's not all that effective. If there's a vein that's very obvious, yeah, we might be able to find it. But these veins that we're finding here are too small. So we need to find really a larger vein. And this goes through the tissue a little bit, but not very far. So really what we prefer to use is this vein finder, which uses, I think, um, infrared which actually penetrates the skin and it penetrates the skin a quarter of an inch or maybe even more and you can see how clear these veins that we could barely see before how clear these veins are so and then down here in the wrist we've got lots of veins which is not a good thing for those people who are depressed but we do have a lot of veins in the wrist and let's see the back of your hand good veins on the back of the hand. So this makes it so much easier for us to find a vein instead of having to poke around when we can't find one. So this is typically what we use, it's a catheter. We put this into the vein and then we attach a tubing to this so that saline and whatever we eject can go into the vein easily. This is a case where I'd probably go to the back of the hand and I'd probably use a butterfly instead of this. This is a little more flexible than we need for the back of the hand. Now I know you all want me to inject this and put this person through it, what uh, you would like to see, but we're not going to do that today. But we just want to show you how easy it is to find the vein with this, so you're not going to miss it. There is the vein, 
and you know exactly where you're placing it. So if you're going through a procedure where you need IV sedation, and we generally use it pretty routinely, we have this available. Just makes it so much easier when necessary and enables us to do the work to give you the healthy mouth that you need to have the healthy body that you want. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll keep you up to date on everything. Keep a healthy mouth. You'll have a healthier body. Have a great day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.